Hey guys, what's up? I'm Mike with Fowler Family Farm, and today we're going to be doing part two of the master bath build. Uh, I'm starting where I left off in my previous video, the part one video. Uh, the only difference is I did add that light right there. Uh, the last video just showed one light and one temporary light, but I did go ahead and add the second light. Uh, so today, let me show you what we're going to be working on. Okay, so what we're going to be doing today is, uh, first I'm going to get my plumbing, my uh, drain pipes glued in, installed. And then also I have to get this uh, pipe right here. This is my uh, exhaust pipe. Um, it actually, it goes all the way out the ceiling uh, of, the, of the barn or the shop house. Um, that's just for all your gases and fumes and stuff like that to escape. Um, but I am going to glue in and put in all my piping, all my drain pipes. Um, and then I'm going to move this electrical wire. I'm going to replace it. I, it's just not going to work back here behind this safe. So I will uh, probably run it underneath and back to that box. It's actually the, this is actually from the panel. So I'm going to have to go all the way from the panel to replace this, which is going to, it's not going to be fun, but I'll get it done. Um, I probably won't show that uh, just simply because I don't want anyone to copy what I do electrical wise, because I'm not a professional. I don't want anyone to get hurt or to do anything crazy in their own house. Uh, but the plumbing is something I think I can do. Uh, I can do this. Um, so let's get started. Okay, the first thing I want to do is go through and uh, I have to have a drain pipe right here, or a drain where it comes through the sheetrock under a sink right here. And then I have to have one right here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and measure all that out and cut all the pipe. Uh, that way I can fit it in here, test it, make sure it's uh, you know at the right size, and then I'll glue it all in. Okay, this piece here I already cut. here to connect to this drain over here. Now I just want to go ahead and glue this piece in the extension or the uh, coupling. Oh, it's in my hand. <laughs> I'm going to glue this uh, coupling on that end so I can measure out the size I need going over here into the drain. I do sand these, all my glued ends, just slightly sand them. I have talked to several plumbing people. Um, most of them say you have to sandpaper this, you know, scratch it up a little bit so it'll adhere a little better. Some actually say it's not that necessary. I don't know. I'll do it <laughs> just in case. So that's the primer and the cleaner. Stuff eats right through this styrofoam that's in this box. It's crazy. I'm obviously only going to glue one side. Put glue on one side. Alright, just put it on there, twist, and hold it for a second. Okay, what I'm doing here is I've got I've got this 90 uh, glued in already. I've got this, just this one side over here of this coupling glued in. Um, I haven't glued this in yet. So I had to use a, a straight 90 here because Lowe's and Home Depot, everybody's out of stuff right now. I mean, it's hard to find all the lumber you need. It's hard, just, it's hard to find all the stuff you need with all this stuff going on in the, you know, with COVID and stuff. But so I wanted to use a sweeping 90 but they didn't have any, and I don't have any here. Uh, so I am just gonna use a straight 90. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm getting my slope, making sure my slope's good. I use these clamps just to hold wood, and then I lower this for the, where, the angle I need, and then I will continue on and uh, measure this side. For this is the drain, uh, you can't see it in the video, but the drain's right here, uh, so it's gonna go straight up here and connect in with the T so I can have another drain here. But this is the drain that actually drains out of the house. So I'm gonna keep uh, measuring, keep cutting, and glue it all in. 
Okay, so now I'm at the point where I want to connect right here. This is where the water will go down into the pipe that's under the concrete out to the septic tank. So I want to get this measurement correct, right? Um, I cut me a piece that was slightly over large, you know, slightly large, and then I'm going to put it in here and measure it and see how much more I have to cut off, which looks like about a quarter of an inch, maybe. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put this up here where I think it should right, be right in the middle of that pipe and see how much I have to cut off on this other end. I want to go cut that off and I'll be able to glue that in and this pipe will fit in there. Okay. And then I'll show you how I'm going to make this to where it fits snug and all the way in. So let me go cut that pipe real quick. Okay. So this is not attached. This is the drain that goes down. This is attached already. It's already seen glued in. Okay. Um, this is already glued in and this is the drain that's going here. Okay. So it's okay for me to go ahead and glue this in. I'm going to go ahead and glue this in, set it back in here not, not glue this yet. This piece down here, I won't glue here. And I'll get this situated to where I'll have this distance correctly with this pipe over here that's behind me. So I'll show you that real quick. I'm just using the glue that you can buy at uh, Lowe's. This stuff right here. Just make sure you line these up correctly. This will be sitting here like this. You only have a few seconds to make sure it's right. Okay, so that's how that'll go. It's not pushed all the way down yet. I can get that a little closer probably. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how I do this end over here behind us. Because if you don't do it correctly, you'll end up with too long of a pipe and you can't get it glued in there. So this is all the way up against this stud right now, which is where I want to start when I push this this way to, to cement it into that pipe. So I'm going to push it. Well, I'm going to push it this way about. That's about three quarters of an inch gap right there. Okay, so that's that's where I want it. Maybe a little less. About right there. Okay, now I'm going to measure the distance between those two pipes. That way, when I'm done with this, I put my I glue my pipe in here. I just push it back this way so that I can fit it into the here. Make sense? Hopefully, I'll show you. Okay, I just measured the distance from here to here. It's actually three quarters, roughly. I was thinking maybe it was a half inch. So I made sure that this end over here, this end over here is about an inch away from the stud now instead of three quarters. That way I have enough room to push. Okay, so now I'll measure my distance between here and here. about 10 and 5 eighths. And I want to go cut me a 10 and 5 eighths piece. Okay, I want to show this again. I don't know if I made it clear a while ago. Um, this pipe right here is a little over an inch off of this stud. The center of my sink is right on the edge of this stud. So I don't want to bring my pipe this way because of all this PEX line. I'd rather it be over here. I'm going to be off center a little bit, but I, I, I can work with that. But you don't want this pipe up against your uh, stud when you take your measurement because then your measurements gonna be too long and you're gonna have to keep working to cut down and You don't want to you want to be able to pull this pipe back So you can push it forward to cement this to uh, glue this next piece in You don't want to try to glue it at this length where it, where the pipe is up against the stud. hope that makes more sense Okay, so This one here is glued in down at the ground. This is glued in, this is glued in. This is all attached now permanently. So now my only piece is right here. So this is where I was talking about, scoot this forward back here off of the stud, take your measurement and then scoot it back and put your piece in and then you'll be able to scoot it forward to put it in permanently. 
So that's what we're doing now. Okay, so I've already cut this piece, primed it, cleaned it. I'm just gonna put glue on one end. Glue on this end right here. Move this out of the way for a second. And push this all the way up. Okay, so now I've glued this piece in. This is attached, this is permanent now. So this will be my last one. And as you see, all I gotta do is push it in. So I just need to put glue in it and push it in, we'll be good. When you do this, you want to make sure this end down here is pointing the direction you need it to point when you permanently glue it. Okay guys, I got all the drain pipes glued in and ready to go. That one right there is not going to be used for the time being until I get the actual cabinet and the sink in. This is the one that we're gonna use for our temporary for now. Uh, I went ahead and put the shut off valves on each of these. That's just excess water. And uh, none of it leaks. It's really good. It's working good. Um, we've, we're probably gonna let it set for about another hour before we put the sheetrock on. Um, and I moved that line now. I got lucky. I thought, for some reason, I thought this was the actual line coming in with power, but it was actually just coming in coming off of this one coming over here so I was able to just take it out and put a new one in so that worked out perfect I'm gonna leave those loose until I put my sheetrock in and then tighten them in over the sheetrock and I got my exhaust pipe my vent pipe uh, glued in as well so I want to take some measurements and uh, get this uh, sheetrock ready to go I better move this or I'll sheetrock right over it Okay, um, I got a little excited and started hanging this sheetrock before I hit record, so it's pretty much, it's up here already. I should have paid attention to what I was doing. Um, let me, let me finish uh, putting all the screws in, and then we'll, I'll show you the result of it. I'm gonna go cut these small pieces right here, sheetrock, while Tanya puts in the rest of the sheetrock screws for this piece. All right, you guys tell me what you think. Are you gonna check the texture before you fill the cabinet? Yeah, probably. Okay. All right, guys, that's another video. Uh, this is part two of the master build. Um, we got everything done that we wanted to get done. Uh, we moved the electrical wire that was up behind the uh, safe. We got all the uh, water hooked up, none of it's leaking. We got all the sheetrock hung. I just gotta put this plate on. I took the plate off earlier and I don't know what I did with the screws. So I'm gonna have to find those screws. I probably swept them up and put them in the trash. So that's the only thing I'm lacking. 
Uh, next, we're going to tape and texture and uh, start building the cabinet because we want to finish this side over here. Countertop should be here tomorrow. Or not tomorrow. Um, yeah, Monday. today's Saturday. It should be the countertop, the vanity top should be here Monday, Monday or Tuesday. Uh, so I'm going to start building the uh, cabinets and I think we're going to paint those white. No, nope, you said blue, didn't you? Blue. Yeah, that's yes. right. We're going to paint those blue because our island and our buffet counter in the kitchen's going to be blue. The walls are going to be white. The cabinet's going to be blue. Um, and then let me know what you think I should do. The lights are like brushed nickel, but I'm thinking about doing like um, Some gold. nickel and gold. Yeah, like a like gold and both, nickel. But I haven't accents, decided. So, so y'all let me know what you think. Yep. <laughs> All right, guys. That's it. Uh, Remember to go hit subscribe and uh, like if you would please and leave us some comments. Let us know what you're what you're thinking about our projects we do here. Again, I don't do this to instruct anyone how to do it. I just do it to inspire people because we're we're in our late forties and we're building our own house. So you kids that are in their twenties, you're not kids, you're young adults, but we're in your thirties, you guys can do this. Uh, it's not hard. Yes. Just YouTube it and you'll figure it out. I don't, don't wait show... till you're forty six to start. Yeah. I didn't want to show the electric because I don't I don't want anyone following me on electric. I don't want you to burn your house down. Uh, the plumbing is pretty simple though. You're not gonna burn your house down with that. Uh, but that's the main reason I'm doing it. It's just to inspire someone else to do it. So anyway, go ahead, go down and hit that like button and subscribe for us if you would. We'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.